Hi guys. Uh, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are not, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I am having one of those days where everything is getting delivered after the Labor Day holiday. Um, so I got the last L3 ready to ship after her really exciting news that they're going to stay open, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, and I was going to combine it with the pre-order extras that are coming later today, UPS taking forever, of course. Um, but it's bigger than I remembered it being. So I think it would make the video too long because the pre-order extras are already gigantic. So... I thought I'll just do a video on the ready to ship by itself. Um, so before we jump in, if you haven't heard, I don't think that's possible, but L3 is going to remain open. Um, Jennifer was able to get a little bit of extra help. And so she is still taking a step back from the business, but we'll, we'll be getting other people to help the business continue. It sounds like maybe there's like additional information coming about like what that means and what it will look like. Uh, but we don't know that yet. So, and I don't think they're like doing another restock until like mid September. So, um, I feel like I have a lot of L3 now and I probably still don't need to buy from her for the rest of the year. I think a lot of people are probably in that position. I hope she reopens customs. If she does, I will join her customs list because I think I'm probably like at that point where I want to like just order what I want. Um, but yeah, you know, it's always, it's just, it's a weird situation. Like I think my initial, to be completely honest, response was kind of like, what? <laughs> You know, it was just so close to when they said they were going to close, but I'm super happy to have them continue to be part of the wax world. And I know that the outpouring of love that Jennifer got when she said that she was going to close probably influenced like her thinking about like, maybe I should stay open and maybe I should try and find a different way to do this. So my mind always goes to, you know, unfortunately, like the negative, um, I think, I don't know, it's just who I am. I wish I was a little bit more positive. But uh, after some time thinking about it, I think all through staying open is amazing. And I'm so happy. And they're like my one of my top three vendors. So. Um, so yeah, let's jump in to this ready to ship uh, for, it was like two weeks ago, maybe. Well, yeah, I think it was two weeks ago that she poured it. Also, Pardon the lack of makeup and the hair and a ponytail. We had family pictures yesterday, which I try and do every single year. And um, I just didn't want to wear makeup or anything because I was in a dress yesterday. So, uh, okay. So let's kind of jump in. Sorry, everything is behind me. I don't have room for it in front of me. So let's start with what I got the most of. So I got the most of this single scent which I've never had before in true Katie form. So this is a uh, pumpkin pecan waffles, leaves, sea salt, ca caramel, glazed donuts, and cinnamon sugar. These are two pack bunts and I got five of them because I'm insane. It just sounded so good and it had so many things that I loved. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. I love leaves. Love glazed donuts, love cinnamon sugar, sea salt, caramel. I don't love caramel typically, but I thought, well, there's a lot of other notes in there. And this is really nice. You primarily get the pumpkin pecan waffles and the cinnamon sugar right now. Um, but this is going to sit because I have all the fall wax. I'm going to, well, not all the fall wax I'm going to melt, but this is going to sit for a little while. So I got five buns in that. And then, sorry for the turning. I got two puppy packs. I don't love puppy packs for some reason, so I don't get a lot of them. I don't really know why. Um, in Drums of Autumn, if you've never seen a puppy pack, they're just little shapes. I think there's five, five little shapes, about just over three ounces. So it's a nice, like, small amount, like this. 
will barely do my open concept. I'll still be a few warmer short, but I could like make it work. So this is Fallen Leaves Flaky Pie Crust and Bakery Bomb. I love leaves, so anything with leaves I tend to buy. You get the leaves and a slight bit of bakery. This one needs to sit. Um, I just learned I'm not good at like inferring what things are going to smell like and cold. You know, it's just really hard, but this is definitely leaves heavy with just a little bit of bakery in the background, which probably will come out more when it cures. So I got two of those. I only got one basic Betty loaf and it is the star of this order by far. This is Slumber Party, which is a blend by Tam Carr. I think I'm saying her name right. Slumber Party is Fluffy Towels, Liliana's Lullaby, and Toasted Malo. I think Liliana's Lullaby is Johnson & Johnson Bedtime Bath, if I'm correct. I think. Oh my god, I already like put a comment on L3's Facebook page and tagged Tam and was like, this is amazing. It is so good. My daughter's obsessed with it. She's two. She was like walking around smelling it. It's, you get the fluffy towels, which I love the smell of fluffy towels. I love like my whole house just smelling like a spa. But then the Liliana's Lullaby and the Toasted Mallow is what I would never think to put that in, but it's genius because it sweetens everything up and softens everything up. And so there's absolutely no harshness to the towels, like no like harsh laundry. So it's like this warm cotton, sweet bedtime bath. It's so good. Like it's so good. It's a good bedtime melt. I think it's a good bedroom melt. It's a good bathroom melt. You could put it in your open concept. This is going on my list for customs. Tam, I know you're not watching this video, but this is amazing. So it's still on the website. So if you like like fluffy towels, you should get this. So that is Slumber Party. Um, I got... Two, I, I was just apparently buying two of everything. I got two bunt packs in Driftwood, Mac Apple, Salty Sea Air, and Cotton Candy. Um, I'm kind of like, this was sort of my attempt to like experiment with what I could have for the summer that I like. Because I don't like ultra fruity scents. I don't like tropical scents. I don't really like coconut so the summer tends to be a time in which like I just don't enjoy melting as much and so I wanted to be like maybe I should go more laundry or like you know whatever so I thought this would be an interesting summer melt and it's really good. I love mac apple so I love like bringing mac apple in as like a summer scent. I mean you can melt this whenever you want I just need more things that I can melt in the summer that I am excited about. So you get this sweetness from the cotton candy and then the salty sea air and the mac apple mixed together. It's so good and sweet and fresh and I just love mac apple. Like mac apple just does something to me. Like it just sort of like wakes up my nose and I just love it. This is really good. I would get this in a loaf it's really really good really fresh should be a great like you just cleaned like put it on the sun so that's driftwood mac apple salty sea air and cotton candy i don't know if this is someone's custom if it is please put it down below uh because you are an amazing uh mixer so i got two of those i have two more of the scent that i love that i mentioned before this is the scent that like invigorated my love of Cafe C, even though I'm not a coffee person. So Cafe C is just Cuban coffee. This is Cafe C yellow cake and glazed donuts. I have one bump pack in this and I got two more. I would have gotten more, but in the pre-order extras, I got a I got two B bars of Cafe C mixes, like so unnecessary. And um I have like cafe C and spike. Like I have so many, so I was like, yeah, you could have two. You could have two more. So 
this is amazing. So Cafe C is, I believe, just coffee and brown sugar or espresso and brown sugar. I think it's just coffee and brown sugar. If I remember how Cuban coffee is made. And then I love anything with yellow cake and I love anything with glazed donuts. So like, it's just this beautiful, rich coffee bakery scent. I love it. I would definitely put that on my customs list if I needed any more Cafe C, which I do not, which you will see when my pre-order extras come. You guys, it's like now that she's not closing, the pre-order, the pre-order extras orders that I put in feel slightly insane, but it is what it is. Okay, I got a lot of bitty bitties. So we'll bring those over. Sorry for the moving around, guys. I just, uh, there's only so much room in my office. I'm gonna have to make room because <laughs> I'm getting a lot more wax. Okay, so I got doubles of everything except for ones. So let's do that one first. This is Christmas at the Cabin. Christmas at the Cabin is wood smoke freshly cut Christmas trees and sweet cinnamon sticks. So this was a little bit of a wild card, which is why I only got one because it has cinnamon sticks and wood smoke. This is amazing. I love this. It's so comforting. You get the cinnamon and it like everything really blends together. Like it's not like, oh, wood smoke, oh, cinnamon, you know? Everything comes together to really make this very like almost atmospheric scent of like being in a cabin at Christmas. And the tree is so good. I love this. This is probably going on a list for a Christmas scent for me. So that's Christmas at the cabin. I got that in a Bitty Betty. Bitty Betty's are five ounces. This would be probably be two melts in my open concept was like figuring out I think a loaf is three to four melts for me in my open concept uh right now with my Halloween warmers because all you know you have a certain amount of Christmas warmers a certain amount of Halloween warmers and I've been getting and I'm going to continue to get a few more non-sensi warmers for wax that needs really hot warmers but um yeah so a low three to four this is two melts probably in my open concept um i got two of snuggle cotton candy and clean cotton um i like her laundry rose girls is my laundry favorite uh this i think it's the snuggle that's a little floral um so I really like this. Like this will be great on a day when you just want everything to smell clean. But the snuggle sometimes gives it a little bit of like, I think it's snuggle and not clean cotton. Yeah, sorry. There's no, there's no punctuation. So I just have to read it again. I think it's the snuggle that like makes it almost a little scratchy to me, but the, the cotton candy does sweeten it up and kind of smooth it out. So that'd be fine. I got two of those. I got two of everything now from now on, pretty much. I got two, and actually this was kind of the impetus for the order. So I wasn't going to order because I had just spent like full transparency, at least $500 on the pre-order extras. I like, I don't know. I've always been the kind of person who's not scared to talk about money because I think, sorry, this is a tangent, so my apologies, but people don't talk about money and it mystifies and sort of stigmatizes money for people. And then I think that keeps women, especially poor in this world. I'm the primary breadwinner for my household. I'm a vice president at a company and I feel like it's important that we talk about money because it helps people understand like, I think sometimes we get on and we get on these videos and people are thinking in their minds like, oh my gosh, how do they afford that? Like, I could never, like, they must be doing something I'm not. And there's usually a reasonable explanation and people just are scared to talk about money. So uh, I talk about money probably more than other people. So if that makes you uncomfortable, I apologize, but it's who I am. So um, I had spent, you know, 
at least $500 on the pre-order extras. And that was kind of like my, okay, that's it. I'm done with L3, like she's closing order. And so I really wasn't going to go in on this ready to ship. Um, but I think Christine from, I think it's Dazzling Sense with Christine. I can't remember. But she had mentioned that she got a sample of like apple pie or hot apple pie. And today is October 3rd. And it was really good. And she was going to request it. So then when L3 was taking requests, I just popped it on there for her because I was like, oh, I'll just throw it on. Like, that sounded really good. I would buy it too. So she actually did put that on, but she also put on this request, which I did not request. Someone else did hot apple pie, extra vanilla ice cream. And I actually ended up buying this instead of the today is October 3rd mix. But of course that sold out because everybody loves that scent. So hot extra pie, extra hot apple pie, extra vanilla ice cream. This is, I was like, that sounds so good. The vanilla is definitely in the forefront. And I wonder like, I don't know if this is a dumb question, but like is extra vanilla ice cream an oil or is it a vanilla ice cream oil that she just puts extra, you know what I mean? Like she's like, oh, I just double the vanilla ice cream oil. This is amazing. It's so vanilla-y. It's like, and then that cuts the like cinnamon in the hot apple pie. And so you just get this like sweet apple, spicy apple in the background. It's really good. So I get two of those hot apple pie extra vanilla ice cream. Um, I got two in Harvest Cinnamon Sticks, Mac Apple, Apple Cider, and Glazed Donuts. That's like everything I love in a scent. So I don't know why I just got two, but I guess I was trying to be good. This is amazing. Um, you do smell the cinnamon sticks though. So like if you're really not into cinnamon, you won't, you won't like it. Cause it definitely comes out and it's not a bakery cinnamon. It's a red hot cinnamon. But it mixes with everything really well. Um, and I think if it sits a little bit more, the bakery will come out even more. Yeah, so that is Harvest Cinnamon, Mac Apple, Apple Cider, Glazed Donuts. And I would say that what you smell right now is Mac Apple and Cinnamon Sticks, which is an underlie of bakery. But it, like I said, that bakery is going to come out more when it sits and then when it's warmed. This is Pleasingly Pumpkin Autumn wreath whole vanilla bean I got two of those I don't know what pleasingly actually I don't know what most of this is pleasingly pumpkin autumn wreath whole vanilla bean it is cinnamony or spicy I should say I don't know if that's cinnamon right now you just get a lot of spice so I think this one needs to sit. I don't dislike it, but it's just kind of spicy at the end of the day. So this is probably going to sit till next year because I'm going through a few other things for fall this year. Sorry, I'm just checking out my daughter who is sleeping. Um, okay, and then we got a few tarts. I know, I was like, this wasn't a big order. Like literally when it was coming, I was like, I'll just put them together. That ready to ship wasn't that big. Yeah. It was pretty big. Um, so I got two four pack of trig tarts. That's not a trig tart. That's a, it's a tart. I can't remember what she calls them, but there's just like four little tart molds. It's like you get on a video and like your brain empties out of the term for everything. So this is sugar cookie royale, roasted pine cones, and mallow fireside. Like that sounds amazing. This color is funny. This is really good. You get the roasted pine cones first. And then everything else like sweetens it up. Um, so this will be really good. I'm gonna try and do this probably this winter. two of those um this was a bit of a wild card this is mac apple fresh cut grass and hay leaves i bet you this is ashley overly's blend if i had to guess because she said 
when she saw my order on the group that I ordered a lot of her blends. And she loves hay. So I wonder if this is hers. The hay and the grass are really right up in front. And it's, it's a lot of that like green earthiness. I would probably mix this with bakery or I would put more mac apple in it. But I think if I could smell the mac apple more, I would like it more. Um, and I do like it, but it's just like, those are, that's what I would do. That's what I would mix it with just to like make it more my style is like more mac apple or like a sugar cookie royale or like I have, um, I'm gonna be barring cookie cottage. I have a sugar cakes loaf. So I would mix probably like one of those with it just to like cut a little bit of the earthiness of the grass plus the hay. I like hay and I like grass. I like hay more than grass, um, but together it's just a little much for me. No shame to anybody whose blends I talk about. You're all amazing. I cannot blend wax or scents at all. So yeah, just a, it's just personal preference. This is leaves caramel apple or caramel apple, pumpkin pecan waffles, cinnamon rolls, and vanilla butter fudge. That sounds effing amazing. Now, I have recently come to learn that I don't like caramel apple or caramel very much. And I learned that from carnival blends. Um, like, you know, when it's like, you know, the cotton candy and the funnel cake and the caramel apple. Um, there's always like a note in those that I don't like and I figured out that it's the caramel apple But this has so many other notes in it that I was like, I think it'll be okay if I were to remake this I would take that out. So I would just make it leaves pumpkin pecan waffles cinnamon rolls and vanilla butterfudge. That sounds amazing But you really don't get a lot of it Like there's just a very specific note that I recognize immediately and I'm like that's caramel apple um and I barely can detect that with everything else. The leaves and the pumpkin pecan waffles really lead. And I love both those notes. So I'm really happy to have it. So I got two of those. My office is going to be covered in wax by the end of today. And then <laughs> I got two in oatmeal, maple, crunch, sweet lavender. So I heard someone talk about this and I'm so sorry I can't remember who and then I think I heard Josh Jenny mention that it was good it was in a sampler it's really lavender forward and it's herbal lavender it says sweet lavender but I've heard people say her sweet lavender is pretty much an herbal lavender and I don't love herbal lavender however I feel like I'm gonna throw this in my nighttime melts and I'm still gonna try it out because I'm curious for the oatmeal maple to come out more once it cures a little bit and just to see so that's what I'll do and if I end up not liking it I'll just message whomever I got whoever I got the recommendation from not the recommendation they were rec they were saying that they liked it and see if they want it and just send it to them and then last but not least, we have three samples. Uh, they're not in their bag because my daughter insisted I take them out. So this is green tea lemongrass. This is really nice. Um, you get the lemongrass more than anything with a little bit of green tea in the background. So it's like a nice bright citrusy bathroom melt probably. This one's really good. This is Purple Sandalwood Boom Boom Palo Santo. I really wanted to try her Purple Sandalwood, so I was excited to get this. This is really good. Um, I'm assuming what I'm smelling is Purple Sandalwood first because I don't recognize it. And it is like a sandalwood, like a bit more of like an earthy, incense-y, but like not overwhelming. And then like the Boom Boom just really sweetens it up and the Palo Santo is good. So I would get that in a bigger quantity, but I'm excited to try that. I might throw this in my bedtime warmer uh, tonight. And then this is a mystery. I hate mystery samples um, because it has no label on it. I'm sure they were probably rushing to 
get everything out. There's lavender in this, but that's all I can tell you. And some sort of sweetness. But I don't know what it is, so I'll just throw it in my samples and use it up. Um, so that is my ready to ship from L3. Uh, you might see me later today looking exactly the same, doing my pre-order extras. We'll just see if I have time. Um, it's not supposed to come till later today because it's UPS. Just for just to note, this order, which was shipped USPS, left L3 a good three to four days after my pre-order extras and arrived on the same day as UPS, which left days and days and days before that. UPS is terrible. Um, so hopefully I get my big pre-order extras via UPS today and um, I'll go through that. That'll be a long video. I know we're so excited that L3 is staying open, but we probably won't need any in the immediate because we all stocked up. So I hope you're all having a really good day and doing wonderful. And I'm sorry if you can hear my husband cutting down trees in the background. Uh, we'll talk soon. Okay, bye.